Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to make a card and I'm going to be using some cardstock, obviously, and also some of the Tonic Shimmer Powder. So this is the image I'm gonna put on my card and I'm actually going to cut this out twice. Once I'm gonna cut it out for the actual design and then the second time I'm going to cut it out is going to be for me to add my shimmer powders to. So I'm just going to duplicate this. So I've got two of them. So this one's going to be my actual cutout. And this one is going to be for my shimmer powder. So what I'm going to do with this one is actually come down to my contour tool. And I'm going to hide all contours just so that it becomes a solid shape. So if I make that a lighter colour, I'm going to cut this out add my shimmer powders and then place this on top and then they're both going to go onto my card. So we can go to make it and you can see I've got my three layers there. I can then go to continue. Now for my card if we just select a cut set so let's just go for craft board because my machine does like to cut heavy so I find a lot of my card stuck cuts for heavier cardstock has to be on that setting. You can see I've got the scoring wheel selected but if you choose edit tools, if you've got the maker but you haven't got the scoring wheel, you can select the scoring stylus. So for my actual card I'm using the Tonic Hollow Waves iridescent card. This is beautiful. So when I purchased this, it was on sale. I will link to it below, depending on when you watch this, will depend on if it's still on sale or not. But honestly, this is just beautiful, gorgeous card. So first thing, I need to remove my premium blade and add my scoring wheel in. And then I'm gonna remove my scoring wheel and add my premium back in. For my umbrella cutout, I'm using the Tonic Glitter Card and this is Black Sapphire. And again, when I bought this, it was on sale uh, so depending on when you watch this will depend upon the cost of it, but I absolutely love the Tonic Glitter card stock. Next I've got some watercolour card. And I'm actually going to turn my mat round. Don't forget that you can put your mat in either way. So you can have it go in this way or you can have it go in where the arrow is. And you can also place your items anywhere on the mat. And you do want to get in the habit of doing that because otherwise we end up just cutting in that same corner all the time. So make sure you're utilising the whole of your mat. So I'm going to add my shimmer powder to this, but what I want to do is just place this down first and just use it as a rough template just to kind of get my colours in the right areas. So I've got some lilac waterfall and I'm just going to place it in this area here. I've got some golden sparkler. I've got a little bit of jade fountain. And again, you just want to tap either the bottom or the side of your shimmer powder. You don't want to squeeze it. And I've got a little bit of falling leaves as well. Just going to add a little bit of the violet brocade. And then a little bit of cherry bomb.
and a little bit of Catherine wheel as well. And then just a little bit of Green Parade. I've then got a water spray bottle and I'm going to start spraying this. Now the amount of water you add will determine how your shimmer spray reacts. So a little bit of water and you'll end up with something like this. But if you want a more kind of watercolour effect, you can add more water in. So I kind of like that effect that we've got going there. So I'm just going to get my heat tool and heat this up. want to add some into areas I can so for example if we just add a little bit more green in those areas and let's add a bit of falling leaves in those areas as well we can then add some more water To those and what you can do as well is blot away some of the excess so if you want to come in and blot using some kitchen towel to sort of concentrate it more you can and then gonna put that under a heavy book for a couple of minutes and then add my cutout and then add it to my card as always, thank you so, so much for watching. There are more of these kind of mixed media tutorials coming. I have to say, Tonic are not paying me. I am very cricket heavy on this channel and I'm really starting to get into Tonic and Cosmic Shimmer. So I'm gonna be quite heavy on those. That's just who I am and they're what I'm enjoying at the moment, but they don't pay me. If a company sends me a product, I will always let you know that but my opinions are my own. I only put things on this channel I like using. I only put things on this channel that I would buy myself. Uh, so I will always say if a company has sent me something or if they are paying me to do a video. In this case, and in 99% of cases, that's not the case. It's just that I love the products. As always, thank you so much for watching. Any comments or questions, let me know. Please do subscribe, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, make sure you click the notification bell to be alerted of when I upload a new video and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!